Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome you to Wings of Intercession Prophetic Prayer Movement. I'm Prophetess Misty Goodwin. We're under the leadership of our pastor, Dr. Russell Antonio Goodwin Sr. We thank God for each and every one of you. If you have any specific prayer requests, you can go to milwaukeemovement.org. Click the prayer link. For, fill out the forms entirely. We will absolutely be praying for you. This week, we're dealing with uh, our prayer focus is kingship. May, uh, make your next move. The kingdom of God requires us to reign and rule uh, for the glory of God's kingdom. <clears throat> it's his will for us to do that. Daniel seven twenty seven. Then the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people, the saints of the Most High. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. So God rules over us, and we're supposed to rule over this kingdom of darkness. We're supposed to be able to walk in power and authority over the things of this world. Hallelujah. And so Isaiah 66, 2 says, For all those things my hand has made, and all those things exist, says the Lord. But on this one will I look on him who is poor and, and of a contrite spirit. And we are to rule over those that cannot help themselves. We're there to be the assistance for the glory of God, right? A ruler is one that governs, uh, rather king uh, or, or emperor, right? A, a, a nobleman having judicial or powers, right? One that empowers others, right? A ruler is, is able to begin to be a leadership in the positions of society. God puts us in place to reign in the world, to be in this world and not of it. One who rules, one who exercises authority, a governor. And so know that everything that we are seeing today uh, requires us not to live beneath what God called us to do. Uh, I love the this definition it says to govern the movements of things, to conduct, to manage, to control. That God rules the world He had created, and He put us in place to to govern, to watch over. And uh, so we're gonna pray for the men today that they rule, they walk in their power and their authority to govern the things in which God has placed in their life. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this day, this opportunity to dwell in your presence. We decrease that you increase, and we invite the Holy Spirit to lead God and direct us in a time of intercession. Father, we thank you for who you are, for what you have done, for what you're getting ready to do. We thank you, Lord God, that there's absolutely nothing you would withhold from us because we love you. We thank you, O oh God, that you've given us the power to to be able to command our day, to be able to see victory in this day, to see the favor of this day, to see the increase of this day, to see the healing of this day, to see the deliverance of this day, to see the restoration of this day, to see the provision of this day, to see the the opening the eyes of the blind that they can see, opening the ears of those who cannot hear. Thank you, Father God, for you being such a loving kindness. Father that loves us, that cares about us, that continues to adore us and in the midst of where we are in our rebellion and our shortcomings and our lack of knowledge and our lack of understanding, you are there to lead us and guide us in the way we need to go. And so we thank you for ruling over our lives, for leading us and guiding us in all truth, the truth that will set us free and keep us free. Father, we stand in the gap for the kings today. We stand in the gap, God, that they will begin to walk in the power and authority to rule in their life. Glory to God. We decree and declare today that whatever has held them up to being able to rule the things in which you have given them to watch over and govern, we break every chain. We destroy every yoke, annihilate every lie. We tear down the kingdom of darkness and everything that will keep them in a stagnated state and condition. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare that there is no demonic stronghold there is no strong man that has power over them, that they're being delivered and set free from all 16 strong men. In the name of Jesus, they're being delivered and set free free from the strongholds of their imagination. Glory to God. I decree and declare that they're ruling over their thoughts. 
In the name of Jesus, God, their thoughts are in agreement with your perfect will. They shall be established and succeed. They're ruling over their bodies, God. Their body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and nothing uh, perverse has the authority or dominion over them. In the name of Jesus, they're ruling over their flesh. They will die to their flesh daily. Hallelujah, Jesus. They will die to their selves daily. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that they're ruling over the spirit of pride, and pride will not lead them and guide them and to a place of destruction. I decree and declare they're ruling over things that they don't know or understand. Hallelujah, Jesus. For the Holy Spirit is within them, giving them guidance and direction in the way they need to go. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare, hallelujah, Jesus. They will not perish because they lack knowledge. For the knowledge of you, Father, because the fear of the Lord yields wisdom and instruction. So we decree and declare rulership over their thoughts, mind, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that their body is healthy, whole, and well. That sickness has no dominion and power over their bodies. In the name of Jesus, sin has no power or authority over their bodies. In the name of Jesus, their eye gates are able to see by the presence of God. Their ear gates are guarded by the presence of the Holy Spirit. Their mouth gate is guarded through the power of the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, their life and death is in the power of their tongue, and they choose life. They choose the blessing. Blessings. They choose the increase. They choose the overflow in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, that they have been given authority and dominion to be fruitful, to multiply, to take dominion and subdue the earth. And they shall subdue nations. Glory to God. They shall subdue the kingdom of God into the place of victory in the name of Jesus. They shall subdue the things in which they that is keeping them from their families and their children and their grandchildren. Glory to God. They shall subdue the land that you have already provided for them in the name of Jesus. They shall subdue their financial portfolio, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that their careers and businesses are flourishing. Glory to God. They're reigning in the kingdom of God with all power and authority and dominion over the things in which you have given them to steward. They steward well in the name of Jesus, God. And there is no lack in their kingdom. Glory to God. For the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence taken by force. And I decree and declare God that there will be no violence. There will be no great destruction. There will be no premature death. There will be no sickness and disease. There will be no car accident. There will be no freak accident. There will be no love triangles. There will be no soothsaying, no witches, no warlocks. There will be no Delilahs. There will be no familiar spirits. There will be no things that will cause them to fall prey to traps of destruction, self-destruction, and any perversion that the enemy will use to entrap them. And in the time of temptation. They take the way of escape. The voice of a stranger they will not follow in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for liberation. The kings are liberated today through mind, body, soul, and spirit. I decree and declare they will rule over their hearts, God. They will not be caught up in the wrong relationships and they'll learn to love those that they love. Glory to God, like God loves, like Christ loved the church. They'll love their wives as Christ loved the church. They'll love their children and their grandchildren. They'll love their mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and nieces and nephews. Lord, give them the wisdom to be able to take dominion in their relationships, God, that they will not be bound by wrong relationships through friendships, God. And Lord, expose, reveal, and remove any person, place, or thing you did not authorize to be in their lives. Thank you, Lord God, for deliverance today leading them and guiding them in all true God, they will begin to continuously grow in their relationship with you in the knowledge of Christ, in the knowledge of your word, God. They will draw closer to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, and rule like you want them to rule with all power and authority and dominion, God. You will get all the glory, praise, and honor for what you're doing in their lives. They will begin to rule, hallelujah, Jesus, in their soul. Glory to God. Their soul is anchored in you, Father, through the power of the blood of Jesus, they are delivered and set free from the things in which the enemy would entrap them. The chains are falling off in every area of their lives, God. Nothing will keep them from seeing the fruitfulness of what it is you have spoken. You have given them power to see the fruitfulness of their lives in the name of Jesus. So thank you, Lord. To They are governing the movements of their thoughts, the movements of their heart, the movements of their finances, the movements 
of their family. Glory to God. The movements, hallelujah, of their relationships with you. The movements in their business, in their career. Glory to God. The movements, hallelujah, of their health and wellness. They're moving. They're moving in the right direction in power and authority of Jesus. In the God, you in you, they live, they move, they have their beings, God. They're totally in tune to your voice. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for teaching them how to rule where they fall short of your glory, where they fall short of understanding, where they fall short of being able to love their wife and their children and their families. Wherever they fall short, God, you have given them grace, the grace that abounds. Hallelujah, Jesus. And in the midst of grace that abounds, the mercy is new every morning. We thank you, Father, for deliverance today in the areas that they are bound through any addiction. God, they will learn to reign and rule and take dominion over those areas that have been weaknesses for them. In their weakness, you're made strong, Father, to deliver them and set them free from the wiles of the wicked one, that they'll begin to see your hand and your handiwork in every situation, in every circumstance. God, your power is greater than the struggle, oh, Father. So we thank you, Lord God, for my moving by your spirit today, hovering over them today to bring a breakthrough today. There will be a great awakening in their spirit, that their faith shall arise. Hallelujah. Their enemies shall be scattered. The enemies they see today, they will see no more because you have given them power to rule. Thank you and reign in their lives. Thank you, God, for everything they need. God, thank you, Lord Jesus, for wisdom, the wisdom of God resting upon them. They are rulers that are walking in integrity and authority of the power of God. In any area that they are not uh, walking in integrity, God, deliver them today. Set them free today from ignorance, from arrogance, from pride, from foolishness, from, from wickedness, God. Anything in them that's not of you, God, deliver them today. God, let there be signs and wonders and miracles that will follow them because they believe, God, they're moving in the right direction. They're moving according to the way you have called them to rule. Glory to God. Ruling in all seven mountains of influence, God, wherever they have been chosen, uh, called and chosen to go, they will subdue the mountains of the earth. Glory to God. Cause it in the kingdom of darkness to fall and the kingdom of, of the light to rise up and that it will be overtaken by ungodly rulership. You will put these kings in place that they will begin to take dominion. And Lord, if there are women in the way of rulership in the, their lives, God, women who don't know their identity or their position, Father, give them guidance and direction to put the kings in the rightful place that they will begin to work and, and be able to walk in leadership, God, to, beside their husbands, beside their brothers, beside those that are in authority and a dominion. And Lord, we decree and declare <clears throat> Jezebel will not take off their head, will not kill them, will not overtake them will not diminish the power of God. We thank God that men are taking their rightful place as fathers, as brothers, as counsel, glory to God, as mentors, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, in leadership in every position, God, even in the church, God. Thank you, Lord, for the men taking their rightful place in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God shall suffer violence, but the violence shall take it by force. We shall see the fruitfulness of this prayer today. We shall see the kings coming back, returning to places of authority and dominion and women supporting and uplifting them, speaking life and not death, speaking peace and not uh, causing dissension. Glory to God, causing the loving kindness of Jesus to rest ruling by and love covers a multitude of sins where they fall short. We cover them today and the power of God will deliver will set free and keep them in perfect peace as they keep their minds set upon Jesus. So thank you, Lord. Our faith is rising for the kings. We will see them through your eyes. We will know them through your 
eyes. We will see their heart through your eyes. We will trust that you are with them. We will trust that you're walking them through the process of a deliverance and healing. We will trust that they are going to be who you call them to be. And we're going to, to assist them, God, in our positions of oh God, in prayer, oh God, to intervene and intercede on their behalf, not tearing them down with our mouth, but building them up in our hearts, in our minds, our souls, in our words. God, we thank you, God. You can use us, God, to speak life over them, to pray them through their seasons of darkness into the marvelous light, to see them come through and be who you have called them to be as husbands, as fathers, as leaders, oh God, as rulers, oh God. You will get all the glory, praise and honor. The kings are coming. I decree and declare they're coming from the north, south, east, and west back into their rightful place of position, and they will not be lost by identity theft in the name of Jesus. They will not be lost by the spirit of perversion. They will not be lost by the entanglements. Glory to God. But they will be free in their mind, body, soul, and spirit. Free to lead, free to govern, free to walk in authority, free to take dominion, be free to be fruitful, to multiply, to see the fruitfulness of who God called them to be. And they shall be like Daniel, set apart. Hallelujah. Not eating of the delicacies of this world but living by the lifestyle of the kingdom of God. And God shall get all the glory, praise, and honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray these things. We seal it in the blood. We rebuke anything that will come against this day, anything that will hurt or harm us or our families. We are covered in the blood of Jesus from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. We decree and declare that the king's crown is blinged out. Hallelujah, because the wife is the crown of her husband. So as we have been crowned, as we as crowned the king, we shall walk in the power, the authority, and dominion to cover them from head to toe through the power of prayer. And God, you shall get the glory, praise, and honor. We thank you, Father, for what you have done, doing, and getting ready to do. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, amen. Have an amazing, prosperous day, full of favor, full of increase, full of overflow, full of abundance, full of healing, full of power, full of salvation. The men, kings shall be saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, walking in the power and authority of Jesus, walking in their identity, walking in freedom, walking in liberation, walking in truth, walking in love, walking in grace, walking in mercy, walking in understanding, walking in humility, walking in integrity. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord for showing up and delivering them from the hands of the wicked. You will get all the glory, praise, and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Can we say amen? We love you with the love of the Lord. We hope to see you tonight for FIT training. Call in numbers 848-777-1101. We're going to go on into healing school, summer edition. Your life will be changed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless.